Okay, so we want to look at the differences between the Paleolithic Age and the Neolithic Age. Well, firstly, and hopefully you all know, that Paleolithic is another name for the Old Stone Age. Because as we saw already in class, Paleo means old and Lith means stone. And Neolithic means New Stone Age. Neo means new and Lith means stone. Well, do you know what the main difference is between the lifestyle of these two periods? Think about it. Hopefully you do. But if you don't, that's what we're going to learn in this tutorial. So look at this picture. What can you see the people doing? They have spears in their hands. They're surrounding an animal and they're going to kill it. But why are they going to kill it? The answer is because they need it for food. Obviously, or hopefully, you can think of other things they could use the animal for apart from food. You can use the skin to make clothes or as a blanket, and they can also use the meat to eat. So what time period do you think this event took place during? Well, it could be in either period, but we're going to use this picture as an example of how prehistoric people got their food in the Paleolithic Age, okay? Because in the Paleolithic Age, people were, let's have a look, hunter, gatherers, okay? And that's what we can see in this picture. Now, have a look at this picture. It's quite different from the previous one. Where are the animals? They're enclosed inside a wall, and we see that there are kind of houses around that are much more advanced. So hopefully you recognize that this took place during the Neolithic Age, the New Stone Age. Okay, and this shows how the lifestyle changed. They no longer needed to go hunting for animals because they learned how to domesticate animals. Okay. Domesticate means to have them tame and keep them for themselves. And it is this exact change of them learning how to domesticate animals and also to plant their own food. That means they become sedentary. Now this is important. It's not that they decide to live in one place first and then they start to tame the animals, domesticate them and grow their own food. It's actually the opposite. It's that in the Paleolithic period they had to follow their food, animals which they were hunting, in order to stay alive and therefore move from place to place and were no magic. And in Neolithic they learned to domesticate their animals and grow their own food and so they had to live in one place where they kept their animals and where they grew their food and that's why they became sedentary. But why, might you ask, do they suddenly have to stay in one place? Just because they have animals and just because they grow their own food, does that mean they have to live in one place? Well, I guess not, but what happens if they change places? Can you think of the answer? I'm gonna pause for a few seconds and let you think about it. Well, hopefully you've, you've come up with something. Well, if they have animals, but they leave the place where the animals are, no, there's no one there to look after them, and so the animals will die, and so will the food. So that's really why they have to stay there. Also, why would they travel around to other places, maybe finding it difficult to find animals or find fruits and nuts, and therefore find it much more difficult to survive? Okay, these are the reasons why they were sedentary. Now, we just saw this, so let's see how well you remember things. Can you remember the two reasons why the Neolithic people became sedentary? This is a perfect exam question, something that I would like to ask, so hopefully you do. If you don't, I recommend pausing the video, going back to the previous slide, and listening more carefully. 
And if you do remember it, then well done, and you're on the right path to getting a good mark in history. Now have a look at this picture. Okay, can you see all the different things that people are doing? You should try and name them now. Also look at the place that they're kind of living. Where is it close to? What do their houses look like? Does it look like a permanent place? Well, once you've thought of all those things, I want you to try and decide if you think these people were living during the Paleolithic age or the Neolithic age. And once you've decided which period you think it is, I want you to think why you would say that. I'm asking you to do this because it's exactly the type of thing I will ask you to do in the exam. It's okay for you to think and have your own ideas once you can justify your answer with evidence. In the next slide, I'm going to explain what period I think it is and why. And you can see if you agree with me or disagree. If you disagree with me, I'm willing to say you could be correct if you give me a convincing enough answer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is analyse the picture like I asked you to in the, last, in the last slide. So first, what can I see? Lots of people doing lots of different activities. Here, they're making what I think are weapons. A bow, an arrow, okay? That's what I think it is. Here, I think they're making a boat, which they can use to travel by sea, which they're next to. Here I can see them cooking over fire, and I know that they had fire in Paleolithic age because Homo erectus discovered fire, if you remember, and Homo erectus lived quite early on from 1.6 million years. So it's definitely not an indicator just because they have fire that this is a later time period. The other thing I can see are the types of houses they have. They're like huts, and to me, they don't look um, permanent. They look temporary. Because I think these people are only staying here for a period of time, and they're going to move on somewhere else uh, where the animals move. So for that reason, I would say that this time period is from Paleolithic. Paleolithic age. In Neolithic, they would have a more permanent kind of house. Um, and I think I might see some sort of fields in the background where they could plant things. Or I would see some animals like cows in an enclosure. They're all the reasons that I would give for why this is Paleolithic and not Neolithic. Maybe you agree, maybe you don't. We can talk about it in class if you wish. Okay, so how about this picture? Have a look at what you can see, what are the people doing, what are the houses like, what's in the background, and then decide which period you think it's from, Paleolithic or Neolithic, and be able to explain why you make that decision. I think this one's a little bit easier. Maybe you agree. Okay, so let's analyse the picture. What I can see here are some animals. They look like pigs, perhaps, some type of pig. Some more animals in the background, and they're being led by a man, okay, which makes me think they're being controlled by him. They're not wild. I see a woman here, and she's using what's called a loom to make clothes, to make material for clothes. Okay, this is how they make thread. I see a house, which is quite advanced looking, and it doesn't look temporary. It doesn't look like something you would take down easily or quickly. Okay, so from just these few things, I think they're a much more advanced society than the one we previously saw, and I can tell that they obviously keep animals in one place, look after them, and use them for food. And for that exact reason, I would say this is the Neolithic period, because they have animals, they've domesticated them, and they have uh, houses that look quite permanent, and therefore they are sedentary. So, in conclusion, hopefully you can see very clearly that in the Paleolithic period, the ancestors lived uh, hunting and gathering. 
And because they had to hunt and gather their food, they were nomadic because they followed the food. And in the Neolithic period, our ancestors were able to farm, so they learned how to grow crops and to domesticate animals. And because they learned these two things, they did not need to travel around after the food and they became sedentary. These are the key ideas that you'll need to know for your term exam. Thanks for listening.